Today I'm going to be taking a look at disk spin down within Proxmox and see how and when disk spin down can be used to save power consumption and lower the noise output of an idle server. So why would you want to use disk spin down? If you have a drive like this that isn't actually actively being used with any data going in and out of it, the platter is going to be spinning around at either like 5400 or 7200 RPM and that motor is going to need a good amount of power to do it. In my testing, the motor takes about 5 watts more power running the disk at idle versus having it spun down in software. So that can be a considerable power savings if you have multiple drives in a RAID array that are spun down. For example, if you had 8 drives in a RAID array that you spun down every night, saving 40 watts is a considerable amount of power. Also, many higher performance hard drives are relatively noisy and you kind of hear the whine of the platter spinning around. So if you are in the same room as a server, it's kind of nice to have it quieter if it doesn't need to be spinning. But unfortunately, there are some disadvantages to spinning down the drive. The first one is the wear and tear on the drive. Having the drive spin up and spin down and spin up and spin down a lot causes many wear cycles on a drive and is generally considered to be better to have a drive running 24-7 rather than like spinning up and down every couple of minutes. So if you want a drive to spin down, you probably only want it to cycle a couple times a day at max. You don't want it to be cycling like a hundred or a thousand times a day as it's likely going to do a lot more wear and tear on the drives and you're not going to make really any cost savings because you're going to go through more drives anyways. Also, hard drives are fairly noisy when they spin up and you don't really want to be in a room where you feel the drives just kind of make that sound when they're spinning up all the time. It's just a little annoying to have it in the background. The other thing is drives can take a few seconds to go from spun down to actually being able to access data. So if you're using something like a NAS share where it's spun down and you need to access the data, it's going to sit there and wait for a couple seconds before the drive gets spun up and it can actually access the data. And during that time, your file explorer is just going to essentially be sitting there and waiting and won't be able to show anything. So you don't want to have to have it so aggressive that you're actually waiting for it very often. You want it so that it's mostly just off when it's actually fully idle, like for example during night when you're not using a NAS share and it's not being used by anyone. And then it'll stay mostly spun up during the day when people are accessing it to avoid any unnecessary delays. So how can disk spin down be managed in Proxmox? Well, the nice thing is Proxmox is just Debian under the hood, so all the standard Linux utilities for managing drive spin down and idle power consumption of drives works just fine in Proxmox. And primarily HD Parm is used. And a few of the different tools in it are used the most. And for me, those are the dash capital S, and that sets the standby time. So zero means it'll never turn off when standby, and values up to 240 will be in multiples of 5 seconds, and, and values between 241 and 255 will set the drive within multiples of 30 minutes just before it starts to spin down. Dash B can also configure the drive and how aggressive it should be in power saving modes. Some drives will do their own power savings, like spin it down a little bit and put the heads to the side. Drives like the WD Green series was, was known for being very aggressive when it comes to saving power but also they were known for a lot of failures due to the many head loading and unloading over time. So that's why it's generally recommended to lower the amount of cycles on the drive if possible. You can also use HDPARM-Y to do immediate spin down. So to just issue a command and the drive will just start spinning down. But if you're accessing the drive, it'll immediately spin back up because it would need to access data. But this can be a nice way to like spin it down for testing or stuff like that. I often use this command in my testing to figure out how long it would be until I had to spin up again. And then dash capital C and HD Parm can tell you if the drive is active or if it's in spun down mode. So this can be a nice way to monitor if your drive's actually spinning down correctly. I made a little script that would log the data into a CSV file to see how much time the drive would be spun down to see how effective different methods would be on drive spin down. Some drives may actually spin up if you're issuing that HD Parm dash capital C command. So smart control can also do this and it shouldn't cause the drives to spin up. So just be aware if the drives might spin up because you're asking it if it's spun up or not. But unfortunately drive spin down working correctly is a bit more complicated than just setting a 10 minute timer before the drive spins down and being done with it. Because the drive needs to be actually idle for those whole 10 minutes for it to fully spin down. And you probably want it to stay idle for roughly like maybe another hour so it isn't cycling very often. You want it to just stay off all night for example. So I played with a few different file systems and ways of storing data and see how they work. One thing I noticed was ext4 seems to just continually write journaling data every couple seconds so the drive would never spin down. 
I'm not sure exactly what it was doing or if it could be configured, but ext4, btrfs, zfs, and lvm all do not have that issue. So I just say for now, stay away from ext4 for spin down purposes. I also didn't seem to have any issues with Proxmox running random reads or writes to verify the share is working correctly. Proxmox itself didn't seem to affect the drive's ability to spin down. So now the only thing is if you want the drive to stay spun down is the VMs on it have to be able to not access the data on the drive for an extended period of time. I played around with the Windows 10 desktop VM to see if I could get it to spin down well and really it doesn't seem to want to. Even if I set it fairly aggressively, I could only have it spun down roughly half the time and it was doing many cycles. So I felt that was just not a reasonable way to have the drive used. So it seems like it makes a lot more sense if you wanna have drives spun down is to have a separate pool of drives for things like media storage or NAS use that you know is gonna go unused for an extended period of time. And then have like an SSD or group of hard drives that it's gonna stay spun up all of the time that has your VMs running on it. Because VMs, especially if you have multiple of them running off a single disk, are going to have a lot of random I.O. almost all the time. And that's going to keep a hard drive from spinning down. I did do a bit of experimenting with ZFS to see if I could use the S-Log drive and the cache drive to make it so that those drives took all the I.O. in a low I.O. situation of VMs running on it. And the hard drive could stay spun down for an extended period of time. And while that helped, it did not completely solve the issue. I tried doing some tweaking with the S-Log to make it so that it would hold writes for a very long period of time. By default, ZFS will sync drives from the log drive to the disk every five seconds. So the log drive at a maximum can hold the last five seconds of writes. But I configured it to always use the log drive and then set it to like a couple hours. So every couple of hours it would go sync the data from RAM or to the drive. And I thought this would work fine because I didn't have many writes going on in any period of time. So it could wait quite a long period of time before it goes dumps all those writes at once onto the hard drive and then just starts slowly filling up the SSD and RAM with the writes again. That worked pretty well when it came to writes, but reads with the L2 arc, I just couldn't get a high enough hit ratio to keep it from spinning up. While I got an L2 arc hit ratio of like 80% with a one terabyte SSD as my L2 arc drive, it just wasn't enough to keep the hard drive from spinning up and the hard drive only stayed spin down for about 75% of the time and it was cycling many times, not something I'd want my drives to have, and I don't think it would be worth the power savings in a lot of situations. I then did a lot of testing in what I consider to be most optimal drive configuration for disk spin down, which was something like a true NAS VM with its boot drive stored on an SSD that won't get spun down, and then I stored the data files on this drive. And when the NAS share wasn't being used, it would spin down a drive and stay spun down, and then when I wanted to copy files for it, it would wait a second for that drive to get spun up and then work as expected. And I tried like leaving it mounted on a system and leaving it mounted didn't seem to affect its ability to spin down and it overall worked pretty well. And spin down seemed to work quite correctly on that drive. And most of the time with servers, there's gonna be periods like night or weekends that there's gonna be significantly less load so the drive can spin those times spun down. So it only needs to spend a little bit of its working time spinning up. And I think in that use case, it would make a lot of sense for setting up spin down. One other thing I wanted to test was using RAID. I used ZFS to manage RAID and it worked fine with spin down. So if no data was being accessed for a reasonable period of time, all the drives would spin down as set by HD Palm. And if data needed to be accessed again, they'd all spin up again as ZFS requires all the drives to be spinning to get any data. One other thing I wanted to note is they did all of my testing with my hard drives plugged into the SATA ports on my motherboard. I also did a little bit of testing with an LSI HBA, and those do support spinning down hard drives if you give the correct commands to them. Though some drives don't seem to support the commands, and you might get an error like this here in HD Palm if the drive doesn't support those sleep commands. If you're using something like Hardware RAID that has like an abstraction layer between your OS and the actual disks itself, you likely won't get it to sleep or use any low power commands because the actual RAID card is in control of those commands going to the drive and not the OS running on top of it. To sum it up, HD Palm manages hard drive spin down in Proxmox and almost all of the Linux distributions. But if you want spin down to work correctly, it pretty much only works for something like a NAS share or a media share or something that will actually have extended periods of no usage. For VMs, you probably want to store them on SSDs and an SSD is typically going to use much less power and be silent too. So I'd separate your data into a VM drive and a media and data drive so that way you can have your data drive spin down. Let me know if you have used hard drive spin down in Proxmox or other servers and how your experience with it has been.